Well, friends, look at us. I'm proud of us. Again, this is just something I keep saying. I'm proud of me. I'm proud of us for doing this. So in today's video, it is part two of my emergency backpacks or 72 hour bags, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to show you what I have picked away at and collected on Amazon for over the past year. And then we're going to take this haul plus my Walmart emergency preparedness haul and my Dollar Tree emergency backpack haul. We're gonna put it all together and finally get these beasts together, get this show on the road. Don't forget that you can click the first link in the description below and get my special, just made it for you. It's all bright, shiny, and new and colorful. Wish I would've had it from the beginning. I pulled this emergency preparedness backpack kit together for you that talks about the different categories you can focus on when creating backpacks for your family. And I also wrote out everything that I got in all the different categories for my own family. So this list, it also has extra bonus ideas and such. So make it work for you. We all know I'm not an expert, right? Right. <laughs> yes and amen. That's for sure. But I have pulled all these items together over this time period and I'm finally getting it done. It does not have to take you this long, especially if you click the first link in the description below and download my special emergency backpack preparedness pack for you with your checklist and extra goodies as well just to make it easier for you. So this is what it looks like if you do it on your own, piecing it together for over a year. Download my emergency backpack checklist and guide and hopefully it goes a little quicker for you. Yes and amen. So here's what I got on Amazon. All right, starting at one end of the table, zoom in, zoom in down here. Now one thing I did just discover and uh, this might just be an Amazon order error on my part. I only have eight backpacks. Now, you know, even a year ago, I didn't just need eight backpacks. So where are the other, <laughs> where are the other couple backpacks? So anyway, I wanna do a total of 11 backpacks. So I'm gonna just order a couple more. I may be able to scroll down through the depths of my Amazon account and find my order, contact the seller, see where at least two more backpacks are. I just don't know. Okay. Okay. But I need three more backpacks. Now I liked these bags in particular, uh, because at least when I read about them, they seem to have had, um, lots of compartments, little inner compartments, side compartments, um, lots of buckles and such. So in other videos, I recommended in my last emergency backpack preparedness video. If you watch Kristen's video from Six Sisters Stuff and Jennifer from The Family Fudge, there's just several videos I linked in that one. A lot of those ladies have done color-coded backpacks, which makes total sense. I did order a big pack of name tags. <laughs> so every single, cause that's one of the questions I've gotten even over on my TikTok videos about this is, um, Hey, Jim Merle, how do you tell whose is whose? So everyone is going to have a big name tag on theirs, but you can do better and you can do color coded backpacks. This is what I have done. Yes. And I meant, okay. So, uh, these are the thermal emergency thermal blankets. We went to um, like a wilderness survival. I think each of these may have like four in it. We'll, we'll see when we get into this because part of the label's gone here. Um, anyway, the emergency preparedness gentleman who worked for the, uh, the park service that talked to us even shared about like making shelters and such with these. So just seemed like a good thing for everyone to have. Um, you know, you don't want to be it cold and rainy and just something like this could keep you warm. So, um, we have rain ponchos and you know, in every hall I have shown more ponchos. So I think I only found one of my packs, not the second one. So at Dollar Tree and Walmart, I bought more. So I probably have rain ponchos for 20 now, <laughs> but that's okay. This was a pack of just extra water bottles. I figured they could be empty, but they could always be filled with more. Then I got everybody a first aid kit. It's a little more robust than the Dollar Tree kit. I mean, we're not talking much more than band-aids and some alcohol swabs and such. There's some gauze in here. I thought I could add some more to these. There is room in them. Excuse me now while I'm determined to zip this bag while holding the camera. Uh, got one box of glow sticks. How many were in here? 
Okay, there's 20, and then you know at the Dollar Tree, that's another good spot to get glow sticks. So I got these so I would have them. Also, the Life Straws. So with the Life Straws, they're usually um, uh, somewhere around $20 each, sometimes 18, sometimes 19. But what I saw last year, that last, uh, the Black Friday sales that were on Amazon and Cyber Monday, they had a day where they had life straws for $12. So look, you know, my joke is look this holiday season, put it on your holiday shopping list. But some of these items you, you can keep your eye open for whenever these uh, sales are coming out. Then I got some paracord. Also the emergency hand crank radio. What I like about this one is it's also solar power. So very nice, very nice. We got, oh, Tobin's talking, multi-purpose tool. And just, you know, all the flashlights. This is a whole box of flashlights. I think I think we have 16 or 18. I forget the count from yesterday. But anyway, so you can crank them with your hand. Obviously, when you're not holding a camera, that'll go better. Anyway, so there's the whole box of flashlights. Now, um, I don't remember my rationale on the crackers. I feel like I thought... So let me make up a story. <laughs> I think, I think at the time I thought I was ordering like peanut butter crackers or you know the, the cheese it type. The crackers I get marked down at Sharp Shopper but might only have a month or two left. I thought I was getting a pack of those. Instead I got these, but I don't remember now because it's been a while. So these probably won't get packed and nothing. Hey kids, we'll be having these with soup, soup for a bit. Okay, so this is more on the uh, extreme prepping side of things. These emergency survival tabs have a best if used by 2047. So it says a pack of 24 is meant to keep you alive going on 48 hours at a time. This can be stretched to 96 in extreme conditions. So I'm not planning our food around this, but I thought it won't hurt to also have these and just our food storage in general, right? But it's got a 25 year shelf life. These are the items I was planning on packing more. And in a video I did for my membership group the other day, this was just a bag I did just kind of practicing, but I have more food items now. So this is gonna change here in a minute. Of course, Tobin's gonna talk us through it, but I'm gonna show you what I plan for the, the breakfast, lunch, and dinners to be for each person over the three days that we're preparing for. This was me just kind of trying to figure out how much I could get in a bag. Um, but anyway, we've got the, some more applesauce pouches, uh, almost 100 packs of peanuts, the tuna, hot chocolate, uh, Jack Links, these little Jif to-go cups, and these crunchy oat and honey bars. Oh, and I also see over here tennis balls. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, this was an idea from Bubba Page over on Jordan and Bubba's video uh, where they created their 72-hour bags for their family. And he was sharing how the, the tennis ball, obviously, it can be uh, a, a toy item for a kid. Uh, also, depending on an extreme emergency situation, you can use it for blocking toilets if there was a chance of raw sewage coming into your house. So I'll link Bubba's video below and he shares about that. Um, but anyway, so uh, tennis balls to play with or other useful items. Alrighty, so here's what I've been working on at this table and I thought I better update you while I'm in the middle of this. So what I've been trying to do is divide things up uh, by meals and such for folks. Yes, and now I'm thinking, wait a minute, what is it I'm doing? Um, I was just kind of shocked that, wait a minute, I didn't have anything for breakfast, but then again, I did. So we'll talk about that. But I'm over here looking at things for lunch. Um, and so I am going to put these in the bag and show you individually, but just now in groups, we got some um, Jack Links, raisins, applesauce pouches, so that would be one. Another lunch would be these chicken salad or tuna salad kits and an applesauce pouch. And actually, there's enough in here for everyone to have two applesauce pouches. Um, another lunch could be these beanie weenies and then these mandarin orange cups. Dinner ideas. So again, I just, I, I feel like 
I don't know, me and this beef stew, we're just gonna see how it packs up. Okay, okay, that's that's the honest truth there because I've watched these other emergency backpack videos and they have like the cute little Chef Boyardee dinners. And uh, you know, one of those I had at my Walmart, we got, so for one night, mac and cheese, mandarin orange cups, and this pack of, um, it's walnuts, almonds, and dried cherries. But my Walmart didn't have any other dinners besides this mac and cheese, so that's why I went with this beef stew, but again, we shall see. Um, also, the ready rice I showed you, and then I thought maybe a can of chicken. Okay, but let's see how these actually fit in bags and work out, because I know there's also, like, these bags of tuna. <laughs> so, and they also have chicken in these bags, which would be easier to carry versus a can. But it might not really matter. I mean, food is food, non-perishable food is what you need, and, um, it all might work out in the end. So let's get making these bags and see, see, seize, yeah, see how it goes. Oh, okay, and so for this, I was just breaking it down for each person. And so I was thinking, you know, breakfast could be granola bars, peanut butter cup. We have, this is hot chocolate and a thing of peanuts. I would like to also get the, um, like the Premier Protein Shakes. My Walmart didn't have any, and maybe I don't have to go that far. Um, and of course the hot chocolate isn't guaranteed. They would have a cup, they would have water. Uh, would it be hot water? Just depends on the emergency, but they would at least ha have those in there. So yeah, I've got my scrambled mom voice going on right now cause I'm, I'm hashing all this out, but now let's get making all these bags and see what it looks like. Okay, so for day one, I just did Travis's bag of day one food. And this is its uh, the peanut butter dip and one pack of the bars and peanuts and a pack of hot cocoa breakfast time. Beanie weenies, an orange cup. I mean, obviously save your peanuts for breakfast, have it with lunch if you need it. Then for dinner, the ready rice and canned chicken. And that's day one, so now I'm gonna load the bag. Okay, so here we go. We got day one. All right, guys, so here's our day one bags for everybody. Got lots of background noise, but the day one bags at least are now done, yay. All righty, and here's our line of day two meals. I will take everything out of there and show it to you. Show you a bag here coming up real soon. Let me get day three rolling. Okay, so here I've got all the day three bags labeled. Now we're gonna load them up. So here's the day three bag. Okay, so here is 
the day three foods. Again, I've just stuck with the same breakfast because again, in an emergency, you don't get a ton of variety necessarily. We've got the Jif to go cup. Two granola bars are in this, a pack of peanuts. I did get these peanuts in bulk, so you'll see these replayed a lot. And um, hot cocoa. So that's breakfast. Then for lunch, there's the chicken salad kit with crackers, an applesauce, another pack of peanuts. For dinner on this day, there's the beef stew. That really counts as two meals, but depends on the situation if you could save it or whatever. Um, then another applesauce pouch and another pack of peanuts. So there's day three. This is your bag, actually, Danny. Ooh. This is my day three bag. Mm -hmm. And we actually, we have a tub of plasticware from a party that we had this summer left. One of the tubs was left. So, really, in everybody's mess kit, they have a fork and a spoon now, or I've got it to add to that. But because we have these, I'm putting these in every bag as well, uh, because I have them. Even putting a set in one bag and they would have to use them would be just fine, but we have them, so I'm sticking them in there. There's Daniel's day three bag. Alrighty, so here we go. We got a row of day one, a row of day two, and a row of day three. For 10 people, I'm gonna order some more things to make an emergency backpack for the youngest one, but we have three days of food packs for 10 people here. Okay, friends, the house is quiet now, just us in the dryer, because everybody else has gone to bed. Mama is still up working with this food. So, again, I know I I captured one of the days, but hey, look at it all again. So here's all three days all laid out. This is day one. Breakfast is the same again for every day. Say it with me. Granola bars, peanut butter cup, some pretzels. No, some pretzels. Yeah, some peanuts. Hot cocoa, I did go back and I dispersed the candy that I had bought, like a little treat for every day. There's a ring pop, uh, the ready rice and the chicken, and then also like for lunch, the beanie weenies and the uh, mandarin oranges there. And then for day two, same thing for breakfast again. Uh, lunch, it was Jack Link's, an applesauce, raisin pouch. Then for dinner, the mac and cheese, another uh, apple cinnamon pouch, and the walnuts, almonds, and dried um, cherries. Then this is the little candy treat I had put in there, and now I wasn't sure where to put the tuna packs that I had, so I thought, well, I just slid these into day three and uh, use them as needed. Then for, I'm sorry, day two, but again, do what you want, right? Then again, day three, same breakfast, candy, um, lunch is these chicken salad with cracker kits, an applesauce pouch, peanuts, dinner, my mega beef stew, and the um, apple apple pouches, and more peanuts. So there we go, all three days, so I'll, I'll bag these back up. There's the pouches. Oh, and I know what I wanted to show you. So my planning, you know, in planning this, planning the food, shopping for it, I didn't get too much extra. I mean, you know, for me, we did pretty good, uh, especially since we have um, just homeschool events and lunches and stuff coming up. I mean, kids, even this evening, were picking through this box of extras. So I only had four of these. I did not put these in any packs. I had one pack of the ready rice. I had two of these mac and cheeses. I don't know how this is going to go down with only two of these. <laughs> like, what kind of bargaining is going to take place? Um, Two things of the beef stew, which I have some beef stew in my pantry anyway, so I can just add it there. I mean, we were having toasted chicken salad for lunch the last two days, so no problem with the chicken salad or this. Um, and even these, 
I mean, I think these little peanut butter cups will be gone tomorrow. Same with a little pack of raisins. So just showing you the little bits that are left. Um, these planters peanuts, we will be just, again, mixing these in real life and eating them with lunches and for snacks. Now, my extreme emergency <laughs> survival backpack, you know I was so excited about these squeezable peanut butter. So I'm still gonna try to get these in because my goodness, if I'm in an emergency, give me peanut butter. It's obviously very important to me and I've raised my family accordingly. So we'll, we'll see where we can work these in still. Well friends, best laid plans of Jay Morrell. We, if you've been around for a while, you know how this goes. I did not get the backpacks made on this particular night when I made the food bags. Those food bags took, took this mama till well after midnight before I had it all done. And uh, yeah, wasn't going to burn the midnight oil and stay up till the next morning doing the backpack. So you will now be getting, yay, drop the confetti. You will now be getting a third emergency backpack video in this series, creating 72-hour emergency backpacks for every single family member. I also have ordered some things, particularly for the baby's emergency backpack. We got a lot of great things coming up, so be looking for the third video in this series coming up soon. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and also click the first link in that description below so I can give you all this work, all, all of this work I have pulled together, I have for you in a fantastic 72 hour emergency backpack guide. It is printables for you to have the emergency packing list, the links to everything that I've bought, uh, more thoughts on all the topics, so much more. So go ahead and get that for yourself. It's full free, and I'll see you real soon with another brand new video. Bye-bye.